Hello guys, this is Lily's Touch once again, coming back to you with another tutorial showing you how I did this flawless install with this flawless lace glue and other products. Thank you for watching. So I'm going to apply a little makeup on the cap to match her skin tone because the cap is way too light for her skin tone. I'm going to spray a little bit more got to be glue spray so I can make sure the cap is intact. You have to make sure you use 99% alcohol to clean the skin area that you will be applying the wig. Please make sure you clean it well. Make sure there's no makeup, there's no dirt. Make sure you clean that area real, real well. So right now I'm trying on the wig to make sure that it fits perfectly and that the hairline is exactly where I want it to be. I like to stitch my wigs down as well. She's holding both sides of the lace so that the wig does not move while I stitch it. Be careful as you are stitching so that you do not poke your customer. So I'm about done stitching. Now it's time to cut the lace around the ear. Make sure you do not cut your customer. Make sure you lay the lace down. 
and you put the lace over the ear and your hand under the lace to cut right above the ear. I just noticed that the cap was sticking out too much so I am cutting some of the cap off. So now I am about to apply my scalp protector. It's very important that you guys do not skip that process. Um, Raw Hold also will be releasing their scalp protector in a few weeks. Um, you'll be able to purchase on their website. It's always good for you to do at least two to three layers of the scalp protector before you start applying the glue. This is the glue that I've been talking about. This glue is the bomb. It is water resistant, it is not ashy, it is flawless, it dries clear, it looks so nice on your skin, it looks very natural. Hope you guys try this, I'm going to go ahead and put the link below so you guys can try this product. Thank me later. So we are going to do three layers. Each layer must be completely dried before you do the next. Their lace tape is the bomb. You guys also need to try that. I usually like to use it on the sides of my install. It helps the install to last at least four weeks. No kidding guys. This tape is very strong. Hope you guys tried this one as well. So this is our second layer. So this is going to be our final layer, which is our third. So now I'm about to do a layer of the glue on top of the lace tape. This will help with even more security on the sides.
So now our glue is completely dried. This is how I do my install. I just lay the lace on the glue. This glue just makes the process so easy. Using my nails, I'm laying the lace on the glue to make sure it sticks. You can use a scissors, a tweezer, a tail comb. It does not matter. You could use anything that you are comfortable using to help lay the lace down on the glue. Now it's time to cut the lace, the interesting part. Now make sure as you are cutting, you don't cut too far back, but close enough so you still follow the shape of the wig, if you know what I mean. I like to use this baby sometimes when I get to the front. It helps me to not have the front looking so sharp, like so straight. So now I'm going to be using the Rock Curly Foam Wrap. It's very good for curly hair. It really tames the curls to keep it nice and curly. So we are going to use the band. They also have a band as well. It's like a sweat band. Um, it is a sweatband actually. It helps to secure your install. I would say you could wear this every night before bed or when you go to the gym, you know you're sweating so the sweatband will absorb the sweat. Um, so you guys should also check out their band as well. But right now I'm using it to um, pretty much set the install as I am styling the hair. I just realized that I should have wet the hair with water first before using the foam because that's wasting. Um, so you guys gonna see what I um, had to do but I would advise you guys to spray it with water first and then use the foam.
Now we are using the Raw Stronghold Gel. It keeps the hair curly and tame it down. So wow, that was so backwards. But remember to wet the hair first and then do the foam and then do the gel. That's the order that I was supposed to do it. Okay, she told me she wanted a poofy, but now she changed her mind. She want me to make it flat. So, I'm going to wet it again and put her under the dryer to make sure that it's flat. So this is how flat she wants it. It's still cute, but I prefer how it was before. But customer's always right. <laughs> 
slayed by the best using raw whole products. Check them out. Thank you. Bye.